Good morning, everybody. This is Rob with Fruit of Labor Landscaping. And I'm out here in the serene forest, enjoying a nice Friday morning before it gets blazing hot here in central Florida. I wanna wish everybody a happy Friday going into this weekend. And that also means that today is Fun Fact Friday. So let's get into it. So down here, I found this on the ground. I think it might have dropped off of one of my plants that it was attached to or should have been attached to. And this is a bagworm. So there's uh, quite a few species of bagworm and they make up the family, uh, I'll put it in text because I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to say it. But uh, these bagworms basically are the common name for a, a whole family of a moth that when their caterpillars are uh, growing up and, and going through their different instars, as they eat, they end up enclosing themselves in a bag using plant material. So if I were to cut this thing open, we would find a moth caterpillar or what most people would call a worm inside of this bag. And so that's pretty cool because if you didn't know what you were looking at, you would have no idea that that was um, actually the larva of a moth. And you can see how intricate it is with all these small pieces, looks like pieces of leaf and small stems and, and dead twig and all just all kinds of things that this uh, larva has woven together using some silk, kind of like a spider silk, to enclose it and that's what it uses to protect itself from predators and disguise itself. So this larva will go through several instars and then it will pupate and then it will become either a male or a female. And the females will never turn into uh, what we would think of as far as like a, a moth. It, they typically stay almost like uh, the, the form of a caterpillar. And the males will turn into what we would commonly think of as far as a moth goes uh, with wings and it can fly around. The adults have one purpose and that's to, and that's to mate. And so that's what they will spend their whole time doing before they die. And you will find um, the larvae all over mostly trees uh, or bushes. I don't really, I don't know of any specific food crop that they would like to host on. Their damage can be pretty significant just because the trees that they host on tend to have a little bit uh, more sensitivity to damage. So they can damage, uh, especially plants like Indian hawthorn and some other bushes like that, pretty significant damage and eventually loss of the plant. So um, while these are really cool to look at and, and you, you want to leave them around if you start to notice that they're are several on um, a plant that is desirable to you, you might want to look at some control methods. Speaking of control methods, so what are they? Uh, so hand picking these bagworms is, is really easy. It's a lot different than most other pests because you don't have to worry about it squirming as you go to grab it. So if that usually is uh, grosses you out, you won't have to worry about it with this and just dropping it in some soapy water does the job. Now there are several species of parasitic wasps that are natural predators. Uh, they will uh, sting and um, then basically lay eggs inside of this uh, larva and then um, the eggs will hatch and they will eat from the, the, the bagworm larva as their initial food before they pupate. So you can allow natural predators to, predators to do their thing. If you have a huge infestation and you really want to save your trees, uh, the BT that you would use for caterpillars and worms is also effective on the bagworm um, and it's targeting the larval stage. Now just know that BT is not a specific to bagworms, so it could also have accidental kill of some of our other desirable pollinators like the butterflies. So just keep that in mind before you use it. 
Well, that's all I got for today's Fun Fact Friday. It was a couple facts, but I just found this bagworm and I, I don't get to see him often. So I just wanted to talk about it. Figured you guys would enjoy it. Let me know what your experiences are with bagworms. If you guys see them a lot, if you've never seen one before and how you guys control them, if you do at all. All right, have a good weekend and I'll see you next week.